MMA universe last night and uh, Steve Brunt's fault, he actually looked a bit like Tyrone on Coronation Street. That's a little factory there. I hope, uh, hope Molly's not watching. <laughs> Nitch is actually a talented fighter. He just he just takes fights on too short notice. He does, yeah. He has to put his, his heart and mind into it more, so he, he'd do really well. He would. Waiting at 87. See, Bunt waiting at 87. Oh, Nitch is caught him. He shot him straight away. And Nitch is defending that takedown really well. Could this be an upset? Could this be an upset tonight? Really, could. really, really could. Best after not making weight and then and then getting clocked and getting beaten, that would be very surprising. Maybe Steve Brunner has underestimated this fight. Maybe. Maybe being a bit overweight, maybe like that might you know, like play factor on his cardio. Could do. Ninja's doing really well. Head position, really good here. Defending that underhook with a wizard. Now he's underhooked himself. Maybe he's going to turn onto the cage now. I'm really impressed with Ninja. He's, he's definitely. This is not the toughest fight he's had, though. You know, so no, absolutely that, not. That, that'll uh, play factors on his confidence. That you know. Exactly. If you've been there, guys like Danny Roberts. Yeah, you know. Been there with some good guys. Nice shot there by Ninja. Double underhooks there by, uh, by Steve Brun. And this is where the weight advantage might tell. Yeah, that's it, he's got a big walrus on top of him here, you know, now, and he's, uh, he's going to pay a factor. I am the walrus. <laughs> Cuckoo, could you? <laughs> so a bit of singing there by Ave. Stick to commentating. <laughs> so, um, they're talking to each other here, the fighters, they can't actually what they're saying. Nidge in the half guard here. Might want to look and try and get that underhook. He's doing well with the. Uh, he's taking his back. He's giving his back up now. He's got the hooks in. Some big shots coming in. Some good advice there. Fucking do him. This fight's going to be over very soon. Nidge needs to work to get out. If Nitch can survive this, I'd really like to see some more stand-up. Yeah, definitely. That's where it was more even, wasn't it? Because he totally rocked, rocked Steve Brunt with that right yeah, hand. that's it, yeah. I didn't do the chicken dance. <laughs> Good tight back control, this. Yeah, just clinging on and hitting him. Not even looking for the choke, just looking to power his way through with big shots. Drives his hits in, flats him out. Such a dominant place to be. The win. I mean, Steve Brun gets the win there. Yeah, I mean, another dominating win here. As I say, Nidge Wright took the win, took the fight in short notice. Steve Brun didn't make weight, so you know. As I say, Nidge Wright stepped in last minute, last minute. So just today it was. Full, full credit to Steve, to Steve uh, sorry, to Nidge Wright. Uh, Maybe next time we should make weight though. Maybe next time you should make weight. Yeah, definitely. You can't get away with that so many times, you know. You've got to look to move up a weight category if you're going to keep doing that. How many times has he done it? I think it's three or four now, so... It's not good. He's getting a bad reputation for himself, you know. It's not like he's coming in ripped either. He's coming in with a flabby tummy and stuff, you know, so you can see that he's... He's not trying that hard to lose it. Bit of a bloater. Bit of a bloater. <laughs> 